Hey, it's great to be with you again today. I want to tell you a little bit of a story here. Um, after Jesus was crucified, right, and was in the grave, and uh, he rose on the third day, right, things got a little dicey. People were amped up, and, and there's two guys, right, two of his followers are walking from Jerusalem to a little town called Emmaus, and they're talking on the way about everything that's happened in Jerusalem, right, and the excitement that's happening there. And uh, all of a sudden, this stranger walks up, he's, you know, got his robe on, his hood's up, and they're walking, and they're talking, and he's like, hey, what are you guys talking about? And he said, hey, didn't you hear about Jesus? He was crucified, dead, buried, now he's like, boom, he's up again, rose from the dead three days later, and this guy's like, oh, man, I don't know, what, tell me a little bit about it. So they tell the whole story, and they're walking, and they're talking, and he starts to tell them scripture, and relate scripture to them, and, and starts to tell them about the Son of God, and the Messiah, and all this stuff, right? And they get to Emmaus, and they go, hey, man, why don't you hang out with us for the rest of the night? Spend the night. You know, we can eat. Uh, you know, you're a pretty awesome dude, right? And he's like, okay, cool. I'll stay with you guys. And this is all paraphrasing, right? And he's in the house with them, and they're like, here's the bread. Can you pray over the bread? He prays over the bread, breaks the bread, and boom, they recognize it's Jesus. He's been walking with them all the way from Jerusalem to Emmaus, and he's been talking to them, and he disappears in front of their eyes. And they are freaked out, right? They are like, first off, they're freaked out. Second off, they're like, oh my gosh, man, that was awesome, right? Holy cow, can you believe it, right? And they're going back and forth, looking at each other. Did you know, hey, did he say, hey, right? And the one guy says to the other, wasn't our heart burning with fire when he was talking to us, when he was talking to us about God, when he was reading the scriptures, right, reciting the scriptures to us, weren't, weren't our hearts on fire? And I think back to that, is my heart on fire when I'm talking about Jesus, when I'm trying to be in relationship with Jesus? Am I on fire for him as the faith that comes out of me, the love that comes out of me, the grace and the mercy and all the other things that go into being a Christian, are they coming out of me? Are they flowing out of me? Are they making a difference in other people's lives? Or am I just like that Christian that sits there and goes, oh yeah, yeah, whoo, praise Jesus, awesome. Yeah, my life's okay. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being introverted. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with being extroverted. But what I'm saying is there should be this fire that burns within us, that comes out of us when we talk about Jesus, that gets other people amped up and they want to be involved and they want to find out more. Are we doing that as disciples of Jesus? Or are we just going about our everyday lives making believe that there's a fire inside of us when it should be flowing out of us? May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us. Until we get to meet again, amen? Amen.